Dude, as soon as I am drinking, I'm trying to have a good time, I'm trying to wind down before I go to bed, KSI drops a fight update on the official Misfits boxing channel. Fuck's sake, I can't catch a break. So I'm in my Dragon Ball Z gym jams. I'm winding down with a couple of beers, about seven beers, it's fine. I'm not an alcoholic. And suddenly KSI drops fight news. He drops a fight update on the Misfits boxing Twitter, Instagram, social pages. What? I have to react to this. I have a beer in my hand. I'm gonna drink some. I've been drinking all night. Yeah, man, I can't believe he just dropped some fight news right out of the blue. He's just gonna decide out of the fucking blue? My headphones are on because I need to hear the volume. I need to hear the sounds coming out of KSI's face. So apologies for that. I know they look fucking dumb and bulky. Whatever, man. It's just what I have to do. Thumbs up on the YouTube video for KSI coming back. I know I didn't do anything, but KSI is fighting again, so give me a thumbs up for this shitty reaction video. All right. Ireland, I am coming. August 31st, I will be in Dublin. So he's fighting in Dublin. I wonder if he'll show up, unlike Conor McGregor. What did he say? 31st of I'm August. Coming. August 31st. Nice, that's near the uh, Misfits two year anniversary. That's awesome. It's not in England, but still, you know, it's still in the UK. That's an interesting venue. I wonder where in Dublin. On what will be Misfits second anniversary. Now the ultimate question, who am I fighting? Who is he fighting? There's a ton of speculation going in. I thought Amir Khan was absolutely confirmed, but maybe not, maybe not by this uh, update. We'll see. I mean, if Amir Khan was 100% confirmed, I just would assume they would give us like a fight poster, you know, Misfit 16 or Misfit 17 poster with KSI and Amir Khan on it. So with them dropping an actual video, there must be more to the story. Let's see. I don't know. Amir Khan. I mean, best believe we try. But unfortunately, I believe that's probably going to be somewhere later on this year. All I'm going to say is he may be fast in the ring, but when it comes to accepting offers, he's very, very slow. Who else? Okay, so they did talk about this. They were deep in negotiations for Amir Khan. Apparently, those negotiations have stalled a bit, or there have been some roadblocks along the way preventing that fight from happening in August like we initially expected. Amir Khan and KSI is such an insane fight uh, that... It's such a bizarre fight that I want it to happen. I'm morbidly curious on how that would go, even though Amir Khan is like 40 pounds lighter than KSI, but still, but still, I want that fight to happen. I know it's a bit of weight bullying, but Amir Khan's skill makes up for that fact. So that Amir Khan fight, not the August fight that we were expecting, so fair enough. Okay, all right, so who is the opponent? Let's see. Hmm, Jake Paul. <laughs> I've seen that he's rescheduled his fight. Did the editor just try to make fun of Jake Paul's hairline in this video? I mean, come on, bro. Uh, KSI, I mean, KSI's editor, and by extension, KSI should not be making fun of anyone's forehead. And I know I have a fucking six head too. I understand this. A six head. I'm so intoxicated. I can't even press the fucking play button. Jake Paul. Speaking of play buttons, please like, subscribe because I want one of those. <laughs> I've seen that he's rescheduled his fight with Mike Tyson. So now Mike will be even older when he fights. Mike Tyson, a man that is in no condition to be fighting a 20 something year old at his age. But I mean, Jake Paul, Netflix, they wanna do what they wanna do, it's all good. So that's KSI directly talking about the Jake Paul, Mike Tyson situation. Yeah, it's not a good look. Uh, I mean, even in, if Jake Paul knocks out Mike Tyson, which I think that's going to happen, if a fight doesn't get cancelled, if a fight goes through and Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, they make the walk to the ring, Jake Paul is going to knock Mike Tyson's spark out. He's going to get jumped in the street, man. Like, my dad and I were having a conversation about this, like, today, about, like, how Jake Paul will be fucking hated after this fight, if he knocks out Mike Tyson. People, everyone has such reverence for Mike Tyson, especially like 
what he did in boxing back in the 80s and 90s. Again, I'd, I wasn't there. I don't have the proper context for the reign of Mike Tyson, for like the ferocity of Mike Tyson. I can read about it. I wasn't there, so I don't know the full context. My dad was alive. He knows the context of Mike Tyson. He knows the viciousness of Mike Tyson. So if Mike Tyson gets knocked out, bro, Jake Paul is a dead man on the streets. I, again, I'm not going to kill him, but somebody else will. I'm glad KSI called the Mike Tyson fight out. And for him to criticize the Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight, it doesn't seem like KSI is going to fight a pensioner or a 40 year old. He's going to fight someone relatively young in his next fight. So let's just see. They want to do, it's all good. But today, Jake, I'm going to be making you my final offer. May 2025. Just so you have all the time in the world to be ready. And we can even do it in America just to make you that bit more happy. But that is it when it comes to giving you advantages. That would be cool if they did it in America, just like how KSI beat Logan Paul in America. If KSI beat Jake Paul in America, that'd be fucking cool, man. That would be a cool spectacle. I would actually like the KSI Jake Paul fight to happen in America, just because Misfits hasn't really branched out to America. I mean, they've tried. They've certainly tried with Nashville. I think Misfits 8 and Misfits 13 were in Nashville. Both horrible events shouldn't have been put on. Terrible, terrible events. But if KSI vs Jake Paul happened in America, let's say they do it in the Staples Center where KSI and Logan fought the second time. That'd be cool. That would be a cool way to round out the story, conclude the story, conclude this YouTube boxing saga as dramatic and lame as that sounds. That would be cool, man. That would be cool. And he also said something about May 2025. That's his final offer. That would be a cool date because then, you know, Jake Paul is fighting Mike Tyson in November. I assume KSI is going to have another fight around November, December. So May 2025, they would both have full training camps. They would both have full time to prepare, proper time to prepare for each other. May 2025 is a decent date, bro. It's a decent fucking date, so fucking Mams and KSI, man, they're smart, they're smart cookies, bro. Unlike me with a fucking film degree, man, Mams and KSI, they're smart fucking people, bro. May 2025 works. Hopefully that KSI Jake Paul fight happens, man, because fuck, if it doesn't, it's like the AJ vs Tyson Fury of YouTube boxing, man. It's It should, it, it needs to happen. And May 2025, when nobody's fighting anybody, KSI is probably going to have another fight in October, November, December, and the Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight's going to happen around November. So May 2025 works, man. They're both free. Fucking just have the fucking fight. No more fucking around. It comes to giving you advantages. I mean, first of all, we agreed to fight at 180 pounds and then you decided to run away and fight Nate Diaz instead. Then you came back, won in the fight at 185 pounds. And then you decided, you know what? Scratch that, let's fight at 200 pounds. You know what, Jake? I'm tired of this bullshit. Get off the cycle and let's make this work. We both have weight to lose and we both have plenty of time to do it. 185 pounds is my final offer. Take it or leave it. If you come back with some bullshit on social media, I will sleep good knowing that deep down you never really had the balls to fight me in a fair fight. You were never at 185 pounds. That is KSI's final offer. That is KSI's final offer to Jake Paul, and I think that's fair. Jake Paul is well over 200 pounds at this point because he's preparing to fight Mike Tyson. I know Jake Paul is naturally bigger than KSI, but he can easily cut down to 185. I mean, that's no big deal. I mean, that's a kind of a pain in the ass because he is bulking up to heavyweight to fight Mike Tyson, but as far as I'm aware, Jake Paul is not staying at heavyweight. He is not staying at the heavyweight division. He is a cruiserweight fighter. So I think 185 is totally reasonable. KSI is right on the money here. Uh, KSI is more of like a light heavyweight fighter, 175. Um, I'm drunk. I don't really know the fucking weights uh, divisions off the top of my head in boxing. There are too many as it is. I mean, fucking hell. Like there's like a one pound difference between each weight division. Fucking annoying. I'm exaggerating. But also, KSI is right. 185 is a pretty decent offer. I mean, that's the offer that Jake Paul initially requested for the fight before KSI fought Tommy Fury. So, with this Tyson fight, it throws everything out the window, you know? We're 
Jake bulking up, KSI going up to 185. I don't know what's going to happen, but May 2025, 185 pounds, that gives Jake enough time to slim down to 185. It works. Hopefully this fight fucking happens, man. I mean, fuck, man. We've been waiting since fucking 2018, bro. Like, come on. Come on. It's getting a little ridiculous. It's getting a little long in the tooth, just like this video. So let's continue. Actually about it. You were just trying to save face online. So still, we all are wondering, who am I fighting? Well, they I just realized, bro, like all these boxing channels and MMA channels, they milk like... <laughs> They <laughs> they milk videos so much, man. Oh my god! Like they react to like one second videos, and the video <laughs> and their reaction is like twenty minutes long, bro. Like I I am such a bad person for making like a ten minute reaction out of this like two minute video from KSI. Oh my god! Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to this audience. I don't want to see the retention on this video because it's going to be like 20 seconds, but it's fine. It's okay. Told me to fight a warm-up fight since I've had 10 months off. London Shoot Fighters, great idea. Have a bit of a warm-up fight, you know, get KSI back in the swing of things. But yeah, London Shoot Fighters is probably advising him, take a warm-up fight, you know. Mams is definitely saying take a warm-up fight because he doesn't want his golden goose to fucking lose. They told me to find Ryan Bordelin's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good from KSI's team, bro. Bringing up fucking Jake's shitty opponents, Ryan Borland and uh, Andre fucking... What's his name? Andre May? Andre fucking... August. I'm sorry. Fuck. Andre May. Andre May. Andre May was his name until he changed it to Andre August because Andre August sounds that much more cool. Uh, no, Jake was trying to legitimize himself as a real boxer by fighting journeyman boxers, which was a weird approach to be fair. I'm glad KSI called that out. KSI is not fighting Ryan Bolin's cousin. He is not fighting the sister of Andre August. He is fighting... I don't know fucking who, let's see. Holy fear. What they forget, ladies and gentlemen, is that I am not Jake Paul. I want to fight. I am here to fight. I want to challenge myself. So Here's some fucking dog on him, bro. Here's some fucking nuts on him. Because in his fifth professional fight, he fought Tommy Fury. That's a fucking tall order, man. He likes challenging himself, man. I mean, I don't. I'm just, <laughs> I'm not fighting anybody. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's most wanted, bro. I'm not getting in the ring for fucking no money, bro. Um, I don't care if most wanted doesn't show up, bro. I'm not fucking getting in the ring. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm going to fight a person that has been on my case for ages. So, I will be fighting Slim and Anthony Taylor in a 2v1 Whoa, two v one eh? tag team match. Both of you... Slim and Anthony Taylor. Not two fights one night, a 2v1. So both of them can tag out and tag each other in. Slim and Anthony Taylor fighting KSI at the exact same motherfucking motherfucking time. That is fucking dope. That's why KSI is the fucking goat, man. That's why KSI is the fucking man. Get the fuck out of here, Jake Paul. No, I like Jake Paul, but like... Fucking hell, bro. Anthony Taylor, man, he has that awkward style where he throws a couple combinations and then he clinches. Throws a couple combinations, gets in close, clinches. Clinches. Hugs. Hugs. Bear hugs. Even more hugs to a fucking decision. He has an awkward style. Can Kassai prepare for that style? We'll see. Slim, on the other hand, is very long rangey. Surprisingly likes to get close with guys and trade, which is dumb because Slim has an excellent jab. He has excellent reach for his height. No, but like that's an interesting 2v1. KSI versus these two polar opposite guys. Slim that can use the jab and and use his reach to to just keep you at bay, keep you at range. And Anthony Taylor, who just likes to fucking count, come in close, throw some combinations and clinch. A very two polar opposite styles, polar opposite matchups for KSI. It's going to be fascinating if KSI can deal with them both. How KSI can deal with them both coming at you at essentially the same time. Both of you against me. You have 24 hours to accept. 
Let's do. Ooh, shit. KSI okay, so fucking pulling out deadlines, son. He's fucking giving him deadlines. Oh, so they haven't even accepted the fucking deal, man. This is still in negotiations. They have 24 hours to accept. Slim and Anthony Taylor would be dumb if they didn't accept this fight. I mean, it's KSI, bro. 2v1. Main eventing in Dub Dublin. Dublin. Dublin fucking Ireland. Shut your fucking mouth, mate. You're a dirt box. Anyway, that being said... They would be dumb not to take this fight. I mean, yeah, that's a fascinating, that's a fascinating concept, man. KSI fighting a 2v1 wouldn't be on his pro record, obviously, because, you know, it's more of an exhibition thing. If it was a two fights one night, then it would be on his pro record because it's two separate pro fights. But, uh, yeah, anyway, KSI fighting Slim and Anthony Taylor sounds awesome, man. That's actually a great concept. Two people that have been calling him out the most is going to settle it at the same time. That's fucking dope, man. That's fucking... I don't really care who wins that match. I just want it to happen. But like, KSI is the GOAT for fucking wanting Slim and Anthony Taylor at the same time. Two polar opposite styles, bro. Two polar opposite fucking fighting styles, bro. He's fucking going in there, challenging himself and wanting both at the exact same time, bro. That's fucking mental. As for who's going to win, I have no idea. I haven't really thought about it much because, I, again, I'm drinking. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not clear in the membrane, man. There will be a scripted video on this in the near future. This is just a raw reaction. I hope you guys don't hate this and want to kill themselves because you're listening to my voice. Hopefully that's not the case, but I've been drinking. I'm not in the mindset to make a thoughtful response to this video. I have not taken the time out to script a video on this yet, but there will be one coming. There will be a detailed analysis coming. This is the time to react, be in shock and awe about this news. It's time to just get hyped because KSI is getting back in the ring in August, Dublin. Whoever the opponent is, I'm looking forward to it. Whether it's Anthony Taylor, Jake Paul, Slim, Amir Khan, fucking Deji. I don't give a fuck. I'm just looking forward to KSI fighting. Give us a Pineda rematch, bro. I think Pineda was robbed in the last fight. Uh, yeah. Looking forward to KSI returning in August. Dublin, that's a fucking fun location. Again, KSI. Performing in Dublin before Connor. Interesting. I wonder if KSI's leg was snapping the ring. Anyway, alright. See you guys next time. I don't think I'm gonna upload this. We'll see.